During our previous sessions about philosophical history of science, we constated, among other things, that there is a seemingly irreversible process going on, which reduces the field of Western rational philosophical research to new areas of regular scientific activity. This raises a lot of questions. Does this testimony to the historical defeat of rational philosophy in relation to Western science, which gradually conquers distinguished fields of philosophy? Is the relationship between Western philosophy and science to consider similar to the one between, on one hand, astrology, alchemy and witchcraft, and on the other hand, astronomy, chemistry and medicine, where the latter obviously prosper on behalf of the authority of the former? Are those relationships really analogous to the relationship between philosophy and science? And is philosophy, after all, also to be regarded as a science? If it's not science, then what is it then? So what is the fundamental difference between Western rational philosophy and Western science? And why, again, is philosophy giving away fields of study to Western science? All these questions have, as a matter of fact, a common center of gravity that is connected with the very nature of philosophy. Rational philosophy in its pure form, without additional empirical components, has actually only one field of study, which is the very thinking of philosophy itself. And that means not the thinking of a person who is subject of research in the cognitive, cognitive theories of psychology. So the philosophy that will remain precisely philosophy and that means not be absurd by science, is philosophy of philosophy, that is meta-philosophy. And the thinking of such future philosophy, that is once again meta-philosophy, unlike the thinking of a person, including a philosopher, does not really deal with issues within the framework of scientific discussion, but calls the basis of a scientific discussion into question. In this sense, philosophy will always remain the science of sciences, for which, as Schopenhauer stated, everything is actually equally unknown and strange. It is, in other words, not about the study of the content, but about its very basis. So philosophy is, is in this regard, more fundamental than Western science. And if the crown of the intellect passed from philosophy to Western science, then the roots of the entire blossoming scientific tree will still belong to philosophy.